In years past, most attorneys didn't have to worry about presentation of evidence in court. They could present the actual document, perhaps a blown up photograph or something drawn on a whiteboard. However, as technology has increased in the use in each law office and business, it's also increased in the courts themselves. Today, we're going to be talking about presenting electronic and computer forensics evidence in court. Hello, I'm Noreno Petro, Practice Management Advisor for the State Bar of Wisconsin's Practice 411 Law Office Management Assistance Program. And today in this edition of Practice 411 Fastlane, we're again with Bruce Olson, President of OnLaw Trial Technologies, to talk about presenting electronic and computer forensics evidence in court. Bruce, welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be here. What is the best approach to presenting electronic and computer forensics evidence in court, in your opinion? I think the best approach really is a mixed approach. You have to have a good, competent expert to be your witness. You have to uh, take that witness and educate the jury, teaching them enough about technology that they understand what the expert has done in the expert's analysis and to give the expert sufficient uh, credibility so that the expert's uh, opinions will be believed. And then ultimately, you need to present the information that the expert has uh, uh, arrived at and the opinions the expert is going to offer in a way that avoids techno speak, avoids uh, spending too much time on highly technical information, which ultimately will bore the jury and run the risk of putting them to sleep. Are there any dangers a lawyer should watch out for in dealing with the presentation of this type of evidence? I think there are a couple of dangers you have to watch out for. First of all, I think it's dangerous if all you do is put a talking head up in front of a jury and have them speak uh, computer geek speak and uh, have them give their opinions without uh, having the expert uh, do some additional work to explain themselves to the jury in a way that's understandable. So you need to make sure the expert understands uh, how to communicate with a jury in language that is not too technically based. Uh, the other thing is I think you need to use technology in terms of presentation tools, in terms of using pieces of computer equipment, uh, different types of equipment that computer forensic examiners use, and present them to the jury so they have something visual to uh, relate to as they're assessing the opinions of the expert uh, that the expert is offering in your case. What, if any, are the distinctions you make in presenting electronic evidence in general as compared to computer forensics evidence? Well, electronic evidence in general simply is the presentation of information that exists in electronic form. So if you're presenting videotape if you're, uh, or, or digital uh, uh, files now, if you're presenting uh, photographs that are electronic, that's an electronic presentation. We have the ability to not now to use electronic presentation tools that it allow you to show those materials, mark them up, annotate them, manipulate them in a way that helps speed the jury trial along. Uh, in contrast, computer forensic uh, evidence typically is uh, the result of deep down analysis by the forensic expert and that requires an understanding of the methodologies the expert has employed to secure the information, to analyze the information, and to ultimately arrive at the, uh, the opinions the expert intends to offer at trial. Well, Bruce, thank you. And that concludes uh, our session on presenting electronic and computer forensics evidence in court. Tune in for the next episode of Practice 411 Fastlane. Thank you.